Hello Collectivist and welcome back to Crypto Collective. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look into Dash Dash the digital cash. And that's exactly what they want to be. That's exactly what they want to be used for. We believe here at Crypto Collective that Dash is not only a front running competitor, but will one day overtake PayPal as your option, as well as the global option uh, for your digital cash storing, moving, sending, etc. Um, now, in terms of store of value, we believe that, of course, Bitcoin is king and probably will remain king. However, Dash's use case is unique to themselves and what they want to do. Uh, and Dash is a very, very healthy project, a very strong moving project, and a rank 14 cryptocurrency on CoinMarketCap, boasting over a $1 billion market cap, as well as $367 million in 24-hour volume. Now, Dash is also offered on every major exchange as well as uh, available in ATMs, which I will show you in a little bit. So, moving forward with Dash, the first thing I want to talk about is the benefits that your business, if you own a business or are thinking about owning a business, uh, receives when using Dash or taking Dash as a payment. So, quickly, they compare themselves to Bitcoin, PayPal, credit cards, as well as wire transfers, and they outdo all of these options in speed, settlement time, and cost for cost uh, per transaction. So, quickly, for example, the cost to send a Dash transaction is less than a cent compared to 30 cents for Bitcoin, 3.4% for PayPal, my goodness, up to 7% for credit cards, and five to $200 for a wire transfer. So easily you can see here why your business would want to use Dash as a form of payment and why vendors would want to accept uh, Dash as a payment, especially when comparing it to any of these other options. So just in a business standpoint, this isn't even from an individual standpoint, um, Dash is clearly the front runner. Moving on, on their homepage, ease of access to their wallets is pretty ridiculous. They have desktop wallets, they have mobile wallets, they have wallets you can text with. It's it's pretty insane, it's very, very extensive. They offer a multitude of desktop wallets, a plethora of mobile wallets. They have hardware wallets that they're offered on Trezor, Ledger, as well as KeepKey, uh, every major company there, as well as their paper wallet, of course. They have web wallets even, uh, as well as the Dash Text, which I think is, is a really cool option they have, where it says, Dash Tax is a service available in Venezuela to allow, and we know the economic situation in Venezuela is very suboptimal. And it says to allow users to transact in Dash using text messages. The only fees are the cost of a standard SMS. Now that is a really, really cool feature and something awesome that Dash offers, as well as I think that will really, really aid them in, in terms of global adoption, which we know that every cryptocurrency struggles with. Uh, moving forward, this is about the ATMs, as well as you can buy it online at any major exchange. Um, with the ATMs, you know, for us personally here at Crypto Collective, I think that ATMs are a small drop of water in a large ocean that is global adoption and mass adoption with cryptocurrency. Now, will it help? Of course. But I can even see myself being somebody who's very involved in cryptocurrency, you know, finding an ATM and buying Bitcoin there when I'm much better off doing it completely digitally in terms of using a, an exchange like Binance or buying it off Coinbase or somewhere like that. Um, you know, so... It's cool that they offer it and it's nice that it's offered. However, for me personally and for us here at Crypto Collective, again, probably a small drop of water in a, in a large ocean. But nonetheless, you know, it's nice that they offer it. So going forward on their website, uh, they talk about a little bit how to get going here and, and use Dash and how to use your Dash and how you would do that to pay for things like groceries or utilities or friends and families, electronics, etc. Uh, that's kind of the end of their home page there but something i really want to talk about as well is that they offer master notes now if you don't know what a master note is basically they're they're almost masked in a you know that's used for secure to secure the network it's used for private sends and instant sends as well as you know you have governance on the blockchain which means you can vote on certain situations or vote on certain polls that the community is running or uh, I, I believe they say in here where um, you get on up to you can vote to on up to 10% of the block reward to fund community projects supported by a Dash ecosystem. So basically, you just uh, get to be a part of the community a little bit more. But the reason you run a mass node is for the mining rewards. And basically, for locking up 1,000 Dash, which is the collateral of Dash, as you can see right here, you must have 1,000 Dash to run a master node. You get paid daily rewards. And at one point, when Dash was about 1.4 thousand per Dash. These rewards were pretty insane. As well as a current mass node is worth $134,000. A Dash mass node at 1.5K per Dash was $1.5 million. Now, there was a point where you could have picked up a Dash master node for under $10,000. 
uh, and you could have you could have made a lot of money off of not only those rewards that you'd be gaining every day, but also selling that dash master note at the top uh, would have made you a very very pretty penny. And I'm sure a lot of people definitely did uh, make money as the cryptocurrency market was running up later 2017, especially with dash. So. Really cool system they offer here in terms of masternodes. Um, you know, you can gain daily rewards. Your yearly income is going to be about nine thousand dollars currently. Of course, as Dash price rises, um, so do the uh, uh, value of your rewards. But however, the more masternodes that are online on the network, the less rewards you're going to receive. As well as it's a way to lock up the amount of Dash that's currently running through the supply, making it even more and more scarce. As you can see right now, there are about 4.5 million Dash locked up out of a total supply of 8 million. So about 51% of their total supply is locked up, uh, giving the coin even more worth and more scarcity in the market. So really cool option they offer there. Uh, that is Dash for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you guys think about Dash. Are you thinking about investing? Are you thinking about picking up a master node? You know, if you have that much money running around, you're trying to invest in something, investing in a project that's going to pay you every day to hold their master node or to hold a thousand tokens or, or coins, um, you know, that's not a bad idea in my eyes. However, I am not and we are not financial advisors. So please do not take this video as financial advice. Do your own research before making any investment. However, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and you hope we hope you enjoyed our opinions uh, on Dash. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next video, Collectivists.